All right, here's a nice way to be able to make a quick mask, not a quick mask, but an actual mask inside of Photoshop CS5. Now I'm gonna make it so that the Getty here, this is the Getty in California, we'll put Godzilla in the background, okay? Now this isn't the best job, I did a little mess up here, but anyway, if I come to Getty over here, here's the original image, what I'm gonna do is make sure my layers, my background layer is unlocked. I'll come out here and make a selection. Now we can do this 50 ways. I'll try using the quick selection tool and just click and drag out here and start selecting. Now, of course, it messes up, so what I'll do is, I typically wanna use a smaller brush for this kind of thing, so to subtract some of it, I'll use Alt or Option on Mac and start to get rid of some of it and kinda of work my way up here. Now, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, you guys, because, you know, this is a video tip. I wanna get it done. Um, so let me add this here. You probably go in and try and add the railing and things like that or subtract the railing out here. Kind of work your magic a little bit as far as selection. I might even add some of this over here, maybe a little bit of this over here. And of course it's going to mess up because I'm not changing my brush size, that sort of thing. Anyway, so once I make a selection, let's say, I'd fix this up a little bit better. But make a selection, go back to Godzilla. One of the cool things about doing this, let me deselect here, I've got this selected. If I, if I take content in, in Photoshop CS5, I can select content, drag, go to a tab, and just drop in place. Now, if I drop it in place, it's going to drop it where I drop it. Let me undo that. But if I go back to Godzilla, select all the content, click and drag on Getty.psd, hold on the Shift key, it'll try and center it on the image, exactly where I drop it. So I'll try and put it in the same position, basically. Top, center, etc. All right, let me undo that. I'll go back to Godzilla. I'm going to copy this, so I'm going to select all, copy, go back to Getty, got my selection. You're going to see that we have under edit a couple commands here. There's a command that used to be in Photoshop CS4 and earlier, uh, I believe it was paste into, that kind of thing. So we have a paste special command, paste special menu rather now, where they kind of grouped everything together. We have a paste in place, which will go in and actually paste it in the place, same place it was in the original. You've got paste into, which is what we had in earlier versions. That'll paste it inside of a selection. We also have paste outside now. So let me choose paste into, and you'll see exactly what it does. It'll paste it right inside. So I can click and drag, put it where I want it. I can go in then, and you can see the mask down here in the layers panel. If I come in here and click on the mask, even if I alt click or option click on it, we can go in and kind of work the mask a little bit, fix it up, kind of clean it up using our brush tools. So if I option or alt click on it again to show it. Now let me undo that. I'm gonna go back a couple steps here. Got my selection, I've already got it copied. If I go to edit, paste special, you guys will see paste outside. Watch what that does. It actually inverts the mask, which is kind of interesting. So it's just like me coming to the mask, clicking on it, hitting Control I or Command I on Mac. That inverts a mask. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, whoops, I have the mask selected. I just wanted to show you guys a quick way that you could create a selection and paste into to make a mask inside of Photoshop.